I know not only from the professional point of view what it means to suffer and have difficulty, but but like that commercial. I'm not only the president, but I'm customer too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, that makes, I think, the best type of clinicians because it can help us be uh, very, uh, I don't know if, I don't really know if the word I want to say is sympathetic. I think maybe understanding, you understand understanding clients, you understand a lot more. What they go through, absolutely. work with clients with arthritis or in fact any type of injury, I think of two important ideas. One is that the joint surfaces, the joints are connections, how one bone connects with another bone, the joint surfaces ideally will be parallel to each other, not crooked, but parallel. The second important idea that I carry with me all the time when working with people is finding the center of your joints. Finding where's the center of your hip? How are you loading? Are you loading through the center? When you use your shoulder, are you pushing with a shoulder aligned in such a way where the ball of the joint sits right in the cup? Or is there a room for improvement? So when it comes to parallel articular surfaces, what I mean here is avoiding gapping, like this bad, poor knee. If you look at the line of the thigh, the line of the thigh is pretty much like I made a line here with a perpendicular joint surface, but then the lower leg, the shin, is at an angle. This is a little bit of a knocked knee situation. And that creates compression on the lateral side here, but also ripping or tearing or overstretching of the tissues like menisci, like ligaments on the inside. Mm -hmm.